I usually think of the, the HDL as serving that role of removing it from, from our arteries. Um, is that an accurate way to think about it? Yeah. Well, one of the, so HDL, uh, and again, it's the same general principle um, that I've just described for LDL, is that uh, HDL is a particle, or HDL uh, are particles, because again, like LDL, uh, in fact, even more so than LDL, HDL is, a, is very heterogeneous, and there is uh, even even more uh, biological variability among the different forms of HDL particles than is the case for LDL particles. But if you group them together and you measure the cholesterol within the col- within the collective HDL particle distribution, that uh, that measurement is strongly associated with, with lower heart disease risk. We, we, we know this from countless studies. In fact, HDL cholesterol is a, um, a strong, uh, low HDL cholesterol is a stronger predictive, uh, predictor of heart disease risk overall than is high LDL cholesterol. Most people don't realize that. So why is that true? Well, um, uh, certainly one of the reasons that's true is um, thought to be the process you just described, uh, uh, which is uh, the ability of HDL, in particular forms of HDL, which are still being studied, um, to uh, extract cholesterol uh, from tissues. Um, uh, all tissues, uh, as I say, make cholesterol. And uh, when there's excess cholesterol in the cell, it can be toxic to the cell. So it's an important role for HDL uh, to scavenge cholesterol or to extract it from, um, uh, uh, from these tissues that are making cholesterol. And one of those tissues is the artery, and there are cells in the artery, macrophages, that are uh, uh, filling up with cholesterol that can ultimately cause heart attacks you know, through plaque formation. Um, those cells, uh, uh, when they accumulate too much cholesterol, um, can unload it onto HDL particles. And so uh, that's one of the reasons we think higher HDL is beneficial. Uh, however, um, HDL cholesterol as a, a marker for heart disease is not uh, saying the same thing as HDL cholesterol is a, um, uh, a causative factor, that low HDL cholesterol actually causes heart disease, um, because low HDL cholesterol is also associated with an increased level of these small LDL particles. And that, that, that was an observation that I first made that led me to realize that uh, these, these uh, LDL uh, particles that are small and dense may be associated with heart disease because they were associated with low HDL. Um, and that uh, represented really the axis of a larger complex of metabolic uh, relationships that um, we've termed atherogenic dyslipidemia. So what does that mean? That means there's a collection of interrelated traits that um, are related to heart disease risk, including uh, as I mentioned, small LDL, low levels of HDL, particularly HDL cholesterol, um, and um, also higher levels of these triglyceride rich lipoproteins and uh, and their and their remnants. They're, they're, these partially broken down VLDL particles are called remnants. All of these things contribute to atherosclerosis risk. So it's a collective of um, uh, this axis of interrelated lipoprotein changes that um, is really the important measure of heart disease risk, probably the single most important phenotype or trait related to lipids uh, connected with heart disease in the population. It's not high LDL cholesterol that we most commonly see. It's this uh, metabolic trait, atherogenic dyslipidemia, of which the small LDL is a marker for and is almost certainly a causative feature of the disease associated with risk. But the HDL may be coming along really as a, just a covariate. It, it, we don't know that the, uh, that the HDL is really, uh, uh, this has the same important causal role as, as LDL. Uh, and the reason for saying that is um, a couple of lines of evidence, but the one that's most compelling is that efforts to reduce heart disease risk uh, by treatments that raise HDL cholesterol have failed. Whereas almost every treatment that has been uh, aimed at lowering LDL sufficiently has been successful. So as a causal factor, high LDL, and particularly small LDL, uh, is unquestionably a pathologic uh, agent that is worthy of therapeutic um, uh, lowering. Whereas the role of HDL is a bit more complicated. Um, and the, the, the removal process is important. There's no question about that. The removal of cholesterol is important. But, but, it, but it, uh, HDL is also a marker for this, this, this other syndrome. And 
trying to raise HDL cholesterol uh, is not necessarily guaranteed to reduce heart disease risk the same way low LDL is.